Hello everybody, thank you for being here and here I am with another great tutorial. On this video we'll uh, showing you some tips and tricks sobre cómo uh, put a banding or sewing a banding to a carpet. There are six, uh, six different ways how you can do it. I will show you four of them, the most are common and you will see it. I'm not going to use accessory to do this. I will do it all manually and you will see it. If you are totally new on this my friend, this will be so hard for you. But don't worry, I will show you how you can do it and you have to practice it. Very important to practice it. This is the pressed food that I will use. It's the regular pressed food. And I will uh, use a banding ready-made. The width of this binder, banding, it is a uh, one inch and a quarter. They sell it like that, ready-made. You just have to sew in. And as you can see, I am not using accessory. Uh, push the band into the carpet and keep sewing. You can see it. You have to have the absolutely control of your sewing machine to doing this. Because you can see I get the banding, I push it to the carpet, then I keep sewing. A little by little. Right here on the corner, some people cut them underneath. I'm not going to cut it. On this material, I am not going to cut it. I just fold it that corner. You can use a flat screwdriver. I use the scissor and I squish it and I let the needle inside on that corner and keep sewing. Simple. This banding is uh, is a heavy band. It's a heavy material, so it is kind of easy to manipulate, but it doesn't stretch at all. So right here on that corner. Don't pull the banding. Just try to uh, follow the shape of the carpet, molding that part of the banding to the carpet. Do not pull the banding. Do not pull the vinyl. Nothing at all. You can see it. You can see it. I am not pulling that part. And I keep sewing. This is the four number one how you can sew in a band into a carpet so simple see I got that part and you can see the banding on there you can see it the bottom is kind of have a, like an extra material I can trim it on the bottom but a lot of people just leave it like that there it is and this is the four number two. This piece it is two inch and a half. I always cut it this uh, this width, and I am sewing backward. The vinyl is facing down. I am taking a quarter of an inch in. Some people take like half inch. Personal half inch it is too much for me. There are some cards that uh, I have to you are uh, taking half inch. But for this example, a quarter of an inch is more than enough. See right here. If I sew in a stray, to molding that vinyl to the carpet will be so hard. It will be impossible. So I just fold it a little bit. Quarter of an inch. If it is vinyl stretch, the vinyl that, that I am using for binding stretch, it's not necessary to do that. Right here, same thing. I don't pull the vinyl. I don't stretch the vinyl. Why? Because if I pull it, I will ruin it, that shape of the, uh, of the cone right there. I just like uh, push the vinyl through the needle. That's what I'm doing. Not pulling, doing the opposite. You see, I keep sewing. And right here, I done sewing. So, I got this part. A lot of people glue in this part, this vinyl to the back of the carpet. You can put glue and glue it to there. I am not going to do that. I just cut it like this and fold it and sew it. There are some times when you have to sew on top of the vinyl. For this example, I'm going to sew in close to the vinyl, but you cannot see the stitch on the vinyl. And you can see him on there. You can see it. The stitch it is so close to the vinyl, but not on, on top of the vinyl. You can see a little bit that fall in there. I 
I do it this way because the binary doesn't stretch. And right here, same thing, you have to play with that corn and molding the material to the shape of the carpet and keep sewing. This is the four number two, how you can sew in a banding to a carpet. This can be a, this is a carpet, but it can be to a vinyl, can be to a leather, to a fabric, and, and there it is. A lot of Mercedes come like this. A lot of uh, Porsche is like that. The banding come like that. Okay, this is the four number three. This is the easiest way. See, I get that two inch and a half uh, with vinyl for whatever long it is, and I keep sewing. So right there, I just put a mark where the carpet, the edge of the carpet it is, and I'm going to cut right here, quarter of an inch before that chalk mark. And I just fold it on the bottom, and right here, I just make a nice fold in there, and keep sewing. Let the needle exactly on the corner. Push the vinyl through the carpet. Make sure the vinyl is touching the edge of the carpet. And keep sewing. This is the four number three. Very important. The tip of your scissors has to be so sharp because you have to cut it. You can see it right there. Cutting. This is the part that I will see it. And right there, the four number three, how you can sew in a card, a binding. This is the number one, and this is the number three. Okay, this is kind of challenge for some uh, people. When you're going to sew, uh, put a binding on a circle, uh, the best way to do it is uh, get the material, cut it like half inch uh, dips or three quarter of an inch dip. All depend how width it is the material, and you have to start sewing. On this time, on this part, I am taking my time. I want to do it right. If it, the material that I am using for a banding is stretch, I will do this easily because the material is stretch. This vinyl, it doesn't stretch. Most of the vinyl to do the circle is not going to work. Most of the vinyl, if you use vinyl to do the circle, most of the vinyl doesn't stretch that much to do it perfectly. You saw me using that vinyl banding ready made and look I don't like it at all believe me I don't like it so how I can do this nice and beautiful you can buy a very stretchy material that is stretched a lot to do that part nice or you can do it this way I will unstitch the part I already unstitch it I have a vinyl and simple I put the carpet on top of the vinyl, throughout the circle, and put that lime in there. And I get another piece of vinyl, put it underneath. And I will cut, that piece of vinyl is too, too big, so I just trim a little bit. And I am putting a stitch away from that red uh, line. Then on the circle, I will sew exactly on top of that mark. And then right here, I sew it to the opposite side of the stitch. Then I cut them exactly on the middle of both the stitches. And then right here, I just cut it near the stitch. Okay, I got that thing. You can cut it because it had too much material on the side. Like I am doing, I am cutting. And then you have to bring the inside out. 
ok make sure to do that and there it is you have to put the carpet the circle inside the vinyl and then you have to sew in go slow you want that thing to look nice the circle can be as small as than this if you follow this technique you won't have any problem if the circle is big that will be easier a lot of people draw a line where they going to put the stitch i don't do that but if you don't feel like comfortable doing without putting a drawing a line so put a line on it and i keep sewing you see me right there sewing having absolutely control of the carpet of the machine practice it means a lot and there i have it there you can see it what i'm doing put the needle exactly in there twist the material and keep sewing after you sew in this part if you're going to put a banding around the material first cut the excess material the excess material all around the bottom then on the top and then you can put a banding all around like i am doing i am cutting the excess material same thing on the bottom same thing on the top i bring it to the table and i will cut it right here close to the stitch be careful don't cut that thread and there it is there it is my friend i show you four different ways how you can sew a banding or you can put a banding to a carpet there are six ways i show you the most useful If it's the material that you're going to use a stretch a lot, a lot like elastic, you wouldn't have a problem to sew in that circle. But if it is vinyl, if it is leather, or if it is fabric, I recommend, I recommend you to do it the same way as I did. And there you have four different ways how you can put a banding, banding to a carpet. So my name is Mario Ernesto, so uh, the purpose of my channel it is just to give you a tips and tricks about upholstery. Thank you so much guys for watching this video, I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to uh, hit the like button and that comment will help a lot for uh, my channel. So any comment leave it in the comment section of this video. Thank you so much, see you on the next video, bye bye.